All right, thank you, Hunter. This morning, we are kicking off a new series called Sunrisers. It's all about spotlighting everyday people in the community who wake up with a smile and a purpose. Well, today we're introducing you to one woman who didn't let adversity dim her light. In fact, the challenges only sparked Rhonda Miller's desire to serve. <laughs> a contagious chuckle and a smile brighter than the sunbeam she has on her wall. If I see someone smiling, it's the best thing that can happen to me. With her grin, you'd never know the grim pain it masks. Foster care, um, being a victim of incest, domestic violence, homelessness, and just despair of don't want to live anymore. But she found help at the Macon Housing Authority. They help with learning how to save money, on financial, they also help with school. Eventually, she got her GED, getting her on the path to giving back. I am a foot soldier. I like to go out there and help people. Volunteering with several organizations like WARE, whose clothes help Macon's homeless shelter daybreak. That's cute. Her favorite part of the store, the shoe department. Because like a pair of shoes. I had to find my mate in life and what I mean by mate, I don't mean by a partner, but my purpose. Her purpose led her back to the housing authority, the place that helped her at her lowest. And I look for people that I needed to talk to or to help me. But what makes me feel really good is when I come in every day and I look to the left and I see my name. A name and wave that's well known. Hello. Oh, if she drives up, people are following her vehicle. She's really helped with participation in some of our workshops and programs. Even starting her own programs like libraries for the young students and a healthy eating class for seniors. I got a hair fix too. But if you ask Miller, it's not about her. Seeing someone achieve their goals and be successful. That's my number one. Spreading a lesson she learned a long time ago. In your darkest hours. Do not give up. Truly believing this best is yet to come. She was such a joy to meet. Well, one of the ways Miller coped with her situations is through art. So when she's not volunteering, she's out creating. Her specialty is cards, and she says you can sometimes find her at pop-up shops on Macon's First Fridays. And same time, same place, next week, you'll meet our next Sunriser.